The Beaumont Public Library System presents Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to read a story called Oh No, Little Dragon, and it's by Jim Averbeck. Little Dragon had a spark in his heart so he could huff and puff and foosh. Wow, he can breathe fire. Look at that. Foosh, foo, foosh, foosh. Wow, he made a heart. You see that? That's really cool. Oh, little dragon, Mama said. I truly love your flame, but look how sooty you are. Time for a bath. Oh no, I hate taking baths, Little Dragon said. You can play with your wooden boat, said Mama. Okay, grumbled Little Dragon. Grrr, little dragon growled. You are toast. Then he huffed and puffed and whoosh, whoosh. Oh no, little dragon fire department to the rescue. Cannonball. Glug. <gasps> oh no! The water doused little dragon's spark. Oh no! He huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed, but not a flicker of flame would come out. Little dragon thumped his heart and rubbed his tummy to restart the spark. But, oh no, that only gave him a cherry belly. <clears throat> so, Little Dragon bundled into every stitch of winter clothing from his closet. But oh no, that only made him all sweaty. Little Dragon dashed to the kitchen and ate the three hottest chili peppers from the bowl. Wow. But Oh no, that didn't start the spark in his heart. It only made his eyes water. And they wouldn't stop. Plink, plonk, plop. Why are you crying, little dragon? Mama asked. Because, Little Dragon said, if I don't have my flame, you won't love me anymore. Oh no, Little Dragon, Mama said, I could never stop loving you. Because 
You are the spark in my heart. Then she kissed him on his freshly scrubbed snout, and little dragon felt warm inside. Warm inside? Could it be? Oh, yes. Little dragon huffed and puffed and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh no, city again. Foosh, the end. You can't breathe fire like little dragon, but I bet you have a spark in your heart. Who puts it there? Is it your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa? Or maybe you have a brother or sister who make you feel warm inside. Well, I hope you have a really good day today. See you next time for Miss Robin's Favorites.